Here it is Saturday. I'd like to invite you to join us tomorrow for both of our worship services, one at 11 o'clock and one at 5 o'clock. Well, we're fast approaching the weekend, or we're in the middle of the weekend, depending on when you're listening to this. Today, we will look at the fact most of, if not all people, have a desire to belong. All of us, and I talked about this a little bit last Sunday during the sermon, all of us have a deep-seated need and desire to belong somewhere and to belong to someone or something that's worthwhile and above ourselves. We are all social beings. Whether we fight that or we don't, God created us to be social beings, to interact with each other. No man is an island, and we will all, and we all need some kind of community to belong to, something that is bigger than ourselves. Community is important to us, and being a part of a community in a way that grows and helps the community is something that all of us need to be a part of. Others invest in our Creator. Knows we need others to invest in. Our Creator knows this because we are made in His image. A new commandment I give to you that you love one another even as I have loved you. Once again, uh, that you also love one another. By all, by this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. The scripture that we looked at yesterday, we're looking at again today. I think we need a nurturing and accepting place to learn how to do life. That's why the family is so important. That's why having community is so important and the right kind of community and a healthy community. Please let me tell you, you need to make sure your community is healthy. Those where you love one another, as Christ tells us, as I have loved you, have a healthy Christ-like love and seek a healthy Christ-like love in a community or in a church where people will return your love, in a family where Christ-like love is, is nourished and Christ-like love is, it flourishes because of seeking to do it God's way. You know, there's a lot of ways to love and there's a lot of unhealthy love out there, but Christ tells us if we love one another the way he loves us, sacrificially, that is the right kind of love. We as Christians can't love each other in a Christ-like way if we do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. If you don't know Jesus, how do you love somebody in his way? If I am told to love somebody like my wife loves me, and I don't know my wife, what model do I have? You have to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior to have that model. If we as Christians can't love each other in Christ and in a Christ-like way, we will never be able to show that love outside of the church. It's in the church where you learn how to love and where you're nourished and where you're allowed sometimes to make mistakes. Did you hear me, brothers and sisters in Christ? Christians make mistakes. We need to seek a way to love them the way Christ loves us and love each other in spite of our mistakes and even through our mistakes and through our shortcomings. We see that sandwiched in between the first Two times we are told to love each other. We find this, a new commandment I give you that you love one another, even as I have loved you. That's sandwiched in between. Love one another and also that you shall love one another. How? We're given the example, even as I have loved you. Even the lost know that our love for our fellow man is to be different than that of the world. If we have Christ-like love in it, it's just not the same thing as human love and the selfishness of human love and even sometimes the greatness of human love. Love is not a feeling. It is a dedication and a desire. Because if love's just a feeling, then you know what? We don't get to choose who and what we love. The Word of God tells us that we can choose to love Jesus Christ. And we can choose to love each other in a Christ-like way. You get to choose and I get to choose. We're not animals. We're not dogs or alley cats running up and down the alleys, not choosing who we love. You and I have the will to be able to choose to love each other in a Christ-like way. Even the lost know that we're to love different than the world. We all need to step back and make sure we love those around us in a healthy, Christ-like way. Check yourself today. Are you loving those around you? Are you loving your wife in a healthy, Christ-like way? Wife, are you loving your husband in a Christ-like way? As a child, are you loving your parents in a Christ-like way? Are you loving your neighbors in a Christ-like way? Are you loving the people you work with in a Christ-like way? Are you loving yourself 
That's important in a Christ-like way. We often forget to love ourselves in a Christ-like way. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, teach us, please teach us how to love in your way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.